Hey, hey, Capricorns. Welcome back, everybody. I hope everybody's in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> well, I am. It's, but I really had to work at getting into one. I was angry this morning and um, feeling a little discouraged. So then I turn on my coffee pot as usual. But not only that, I listen to upbeat music and... I get myself going again and I sage and I cleanse and so I'm feeling much better now but I tell you I was in a miserable mood today I was angry about the energies on the channel yesterday it really peed me right off to be honest with you and I'm not in the mood to put up with it today most Capricorns here almost all of you have been nothing but kind and generous and loving and gratefulness and there's a few uh, out there that just want to be Debbie Downers and to bring people down and energies down because they're miserable in their own lives if it happens today I'm blocking people because I don't have patience for it number one if you don't want to hear the messages you do not have to view for those that are going to be in that energy. I'm uh, all pushing 60 years old, guys. I don't need immaturity. Um, no one's asking anybody to believe in tarot or the messages that the universe has. This is intended for people who want to hear messages, not for people who don't. I'm not entertaining it today, and I'll be raising a little hell of my own today, and that's what I'm calling the video, because that's what came in, raise a little hell by Trooper, raise a little hell of my own. I'm not dead. No one's rolling over me with a truck. You know, I gotta say, guys, i am uh, been a tomboy my whole life, and uh, the work that I do, I can outwork most men, and I'm being honest. Um, and a lot of where I work, the scenario where I work is usually alongside of 6,000 men. I've heard it all, guys. Every rude comment, every torment, every mind fuckery you can think of. I used to say, you know, I could measure all, and forgive my language today, but I'm going to be real here. I'm used to working with like six miles a dick, I used to say, and I don't need six inches of it. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't need horseshit, bullshit. You know, I've got my own problems, the cry me, the river stories that would sicken most of you, I'm sure. And I don't need bullshit. I, you know, I don't need it. Click off if that offends anybody because I'll be raising a little hell of my own today. You know, um, Spirit gave me a fighting spirit. He didn't give me a lay down and play dead spirit. I'm grateful for that because that's how I survived the bullshit I've been through in my life. And, uh, just letting you know you're not the only people out there that got problems and sadnesses but you know it's the attitude we take on i choose to be upbeat i could be an asshole if i chose to be i choose not to be i could sit there and say you know the universe has never done nothing for me it would be a lie you know, I could sit there and say, well, I never got anything out of tarot card readings. That would be a lie. If it wasn't for, you know, I deal primarily with three tarot card readers that have stuck with me probably about for the last decade. I trust them implicitly. I came in as a skeptic, although I've uh, been doing tarot for like 45 years now, right? 45 years of tarot the only asshole was me that didn't pay attention that didn't listen I was told I was told 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 and I go no I'm doing it anyway so I land myself up in a bunch of shit I had to crawl out of I don't blame the universe take it out on the universe it was me the universe tried to have my back I chose not to listen and that's my point of view and I'm sorry 
if that offends anybody, but I'm going to be real. I, you know, I've been on this planet a long time and I've seen a whole, whole lot. And, uh, you know, I could be miserable and, and I choose just not to be, you know. I don't want to be miserable. I'm not spending my life being miserable. I've had more um, shit happen to me in my life than I'd even admit to. Why? Because I don't want to uh, dwell on it. That's why. I'm alive today. I'm drinking a damn good cup of coffee and I'm grateful I got it. That's the way I see life, guys. And let's see what's going on for the beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. What's going on for the beautiful Capricorns? You know, your energy, Capricorns, um, a lot of people are wondering, why do you keep talking about the past? What? I can't help what comes out, guys. I'm saying, this is your energy I'm picking up on. You know what I mean? If it's in the collective's energy, it's coming out in the cards. So the reason the past comes out in the cards is because the majority of you are still having tough times with the past and needing closure and stuff like that. So if the past comes out in the reads, it's because of your own energies, whether it be subliminal or non-subliminal, if it's on the 3D or if it's in the 5D, it's coming out. And uh, that's why spirit does that. It, you know, it makes some people angry because it goes in the past. So you can't have a good positive read every single day. You have to take the good with the bad, the past with the present, the future. That's the way tarot works, past, present, future. And I'm just reading the cards. You can't shoot the messenger, you know. If you don't like the messages, I can't control them. And I'm not about to. It is what it is, guys. And, you know, some days I have really, really positive reads and say all the good stuff. And I, like, meditate for two hours before I do the reads to avoid the negative stuff. And I just want to focus in on the future and the positive things. Hmm. It'll happen in a blue moon. But it's not because I don't try to get it there. I spend two hours meditating before I touch a card. You know? And I make sure my spirits are on high and I've saged and cleansed. Don't make a difference, guys. What comes out is what comes out. Because somebody needed to hear that message. That's how the universe works. Courage. Raise a little hell of your own. That was the title, man. Courage. Get your courage up. A lot of Capricorns. Yeah, get the heck out of the dark thoughts. You can't stay in dark thoughts. A lot of people go on this consciousness of thinking dark. Oh, this happened to me. It's happened to me. But I'm still positive. I can still be happy. Whether I've had shit happen to me or not. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm thinking about that when I told you guys that. About I work with six 6,000 men. There'd be probably six miles of dick. And I can't get six inches. You know, not that I wanted it. I wouldn't accept it in the first place. Yeah, take steps, Spirit saying, to get out of the dark thoughts. Set your intentions. Just know that the cycle you're on is on the increase. Take steps to get this energy of increase instead of consciousness of dark thinking spirit is saying set your intention to take steps you're on a cycle of increase not decrease the angels are here of the four directions transformation 
and there might be conflict in your lives but spirit is telling you to not think negatively like thinking of take steps to increase the angels of the four directions are here to help uh, you're in a transformation cycle where things, events around you might be conflicting you, but the spirit has never left the scene there to help you take steps to increase, to transform your conflict into something that is productive for your lives. And in this case, you are on the increase, not the decrease. So it may not be coming as fast as you want or the way that you want. <clears throat> but Spirit set, set your intentions to take steps to increase, uh, to transform whatever conflict is going on. Be optimistic. The healing light is here to help you to heal for those of you that need to heal. Some of you have already healed. You're not in need of it. But for those of you that are still struggling to remain optimistic because you've got so much uh, conflict. Now, these are events that conflict you, not spirit, not the universe. Your events of your life have conflicted you. To try to take on the consciousness of optimism. So that you can increase your abundance. Increase your energy. Increase, um, transform these conflicts that are going on around you. Courage was there on the first shuffle and now strength is here so to raise a little hell of your own take strength man be courageous what is yeah hmm. freedom trust courage wanted to appear commitment transformation so if you want to be free, Spirit is saying you got to trust and have courage. Be committed to this transformation. Whatever conflict you're going in, I can't make up these messages. They're like hugely powerful. That's two decks with the same messages. So don't even doubt that uh, Spirit's not on this because it's two decks, same messages. You want freedom from these dark thoughts or this conflict that's surrounding you in your life. You're going to have to trust spirit. Be strong. Be committed to transforming these dark thoughts into optimism. You will have an increase uh, in energy, an increase in optimism, an increase. And once we start adapting those thoughts... Things start to flow and transform in our lives. Mm, and it's true. It's what we're talking about. It's like, if you take on a defeated attitude, you will be defeated. And that's just, and some people want to choose to stay in that defeatist attitude, then you will be defeated. If you want to get out of that conflict, you got to change your attitude. And, um... That's exactly how to get the freedom that you want is by trusting and taking control of your own situations. Be committed to transforming your thoughts. It starts with your thought process. What's going on for Capricorns? Capricorn's going to raise a little hell. Get strong, man. There's been betrayal and pain and suffering. Rejection, you know. Hmm. Something of the past has come to an end. People's masks have fallen off. Spirit's advice is to take control. 
Raise a little hell of your own. Adopt the spirit of fighting like the queen of swords. Like, I'm going to fight for what the hell I want. If it's not coming correct, I'm cutting it off. Harshness, strength, and maybe that's how we transform our dark thoughts into optimistic thoughts is fight like freaking hell. Instead of crying over spilt milk, being sad, if we want to get out of that energy, we got to fight like hell to get out of there. I've had to, a lot of us have had to. Listen to your spirit guides. Listen to your intuition of how to do that can't make it up there's the angels angels now twice come out in your reads that's also earth angels somebody's doing some spying someone you may have ended things with or someone you ended things with they may have treated you like an option they might have been manipulative. They might have been controlling. There might be some jealousy going on. But no, you're on the increase. I can't make this up. You're actually, Spirit is telling you it was a blessing in disguise that things were exposed so that you could be blessed by the earth angels, by your angels, you are being protected to gain your strength back and your guides are here to help you get your power back to receive this increase, this abundance. Take that as it pertains to you. If you want to be abundant, you have to take on the attitude of abundance to transform your thoughts to increase your abundance your blessings uh, they're being offered to you get up and go attitude this is uh attitude with the queen of wands of a fighting attitude get what you want attitude most capricorns have that it is in their natural um zodiac sign to have that fighting ability and many capricorns have fought like hell their whole lives since childhood to get what they want it's never come easy you gotta fight like hell spirit is saying because you have this get up and go attitude to be able to to get this increase in your life You may be in a financial bind or in financial lack, but this is also feeling lonely and feeling isolated, left out in the cold, spirit saying, fight, we're here to help you. You will be abundant. This is your energy, Capricorn energy, male or female. You're strong, you're a fighter. You're abundant, you're grounded, you're stable, and you're going to be on the increase. Things will improve. You're healing, but you're also being guided by your spirit leaders, your angels, your angels of the four directions here. I can't make this up. Angels here in the four directions. Angels here being guided by your angels to fight raise a little hell of your own show them what you're worth you know hmm. if you want wish fulfillment you can't sit and weigh things back and forth of what to do you got to take charge and you have to make the decision after the i know that many capricorns are heavily burdened about the past situation that's why it keeps coming up it's all it's like a hindrance to your blessings uh for you getting what you want it's been a long haul a heavy battle you've been carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders um 
because this person did that to you. But know that things will change fast. Once you change and transform your own thoughts, that this person may have been a soulmate to you, but this is also forming new bonds by communicating with people who have your best interest at heart. Not deceivers. That's also deception. The person's deception left you in that energy and spirit is saying, once you change your attitude, you might be forming new bonds, communicating with certain individuals that are like-minded like yourself. It'll help you get there. That person walked away or you had to walk away, made the decision to turn your back. That person was a fool. And now you've got to collect your energies. Spirit saying this is the truth. You will have the victory in this situation. You're on a new beginning. And things will come quickly once the tower energy is over. You know, the tower hit. But once that, yeah. And now, like, you're feeling blocked. Your heart chakras are closed. Um because of this pain, because of these, you're not being, maybe you're closed off to even your angels, you know, thinking somehow you were huh, abandoned by the universe. You weren't abandoned by the universe. Spirit is saying to keep working. You're hard, hard at it. Things will calm out and smooth out. You will have success and victory once this tower moment period is over and you can learn to trust again the universe learn to trust again people learn to trust again yourself things will calm out you will have success the universe is all over this i can't make this up guys the universe is there to they got your back they know that maybe perhaps not all of you Capricorns, but some of you may have been ghosted, left lonely and oof, depressed, but spirits all over this. Spirit is saying you will have a success. You can manifest whatsoever it is that you want at this time. This cycle is closed. This cycle is over to be open to new going even if this is reaching out to a friend uh getting together you're gonna have a reason to celebrate a friend message a friend or a friend may be trying to message you this is justice this is someone that is balanced this is someone who will you know this is to right wrongs this is someone who's truthful and balanced because a lot of you are stressed the hell right out i'm just going to put it out there you feel like you're at a standstill like you can't move to take this position of authority as the emperor to make a boss move to transform your situation this could also be that an employer is keeping you being unfair and keeping you stuck not paying you what you're worth but this is spirit is saying to raise a little hell of your own and and to stand in your power Your energies might be spread thin, like you're giving to too giving too much, giving too much and getting paid little. But spirit is saying, 
and you're in this energy of anger. Not all Capricorns, but many are angry. Take control, stay strong, fight. Raise a little hell of your own, fight. For your own survival. This cycle is changing. The wheel of fortune is in your favor at this time. You need to get out of this energy and put it in this energy of healing. You have to heal. You can't stay cold, detached, and heartbroken. Spirit's just saying, I'm sorry. If you want this happiness, some of you may even have to detach from someone you're with or detach from a current employer that's paying you little and you're you're giving uh 10 pentacles and you're getting paid six and because they're cold they're detached and they're fucking ruthless but spirit is saying you got to raise a little hell of your own fight fight you want something better you gotta stay strong fight and get your happiness You might be in your emotions and you're worried that I don't have enough to have this passionate new beginning. But Spirit is telling you there's growth here. There's abundance here. Once so many different messages it might be work on a new plan, work with spirit, talk to your guides, talk to your angels. How can I be have this abundance? How, when I have so little, can I get what I want? If you're afraid, if you're afraid, you got to face your fears. This is good karma that is owed to you, Capricorn. This is good karma that you're on, the cycle of good karma. And Spirit is telling you, you got to stand up for what you believe. You've got to stay strong, courageous. And if you want this happiness, you have to express yourself. You can't stay trapped and worried when you want this passionate new beginning that has so much growth and so much potential. Spirit is saying work on a plan, work with us. Face your fears. Many of you have got to, like especially if you have to leave a job, you know. A lot of you have been betrayed. A lot of you have been through a lot of pain and suffering. But Spirit is saying you're going to be happy at the end. You're going to have a reason to celebrate. When you love yourself enough. Many of you are owed apologies but spirit is telling you that this is an overflowing of emotions it is something after this betrayal that makes you celebrate you'll be like so emotional there is so much emotion here that you've gone through and spirit is saying that there will be forward growth once you get adapt the attitude of self-love and fight your ass off. Sorry, Capricorn, you're going to have to fight. And get out of that stuck energy or you're going to get, like, a lot of you are afraid to get unstuck and accept an offer because you don't know, right? To adapt the attitude of taking action to, that's an action taker. Take action. Be strong. Move forward. Get away from all this drama. 
Some of you, it's a relationship. Some of you, it's an actual job, a situation, however it resonates. Got to take action. Get out of that. Uh, there might be a lot of conflict that you're dealing with, a lot of drama, situations. Rush ahead, forward, move forward. You might be like the empath and you feel things deeply, but spirit is saying you're going to block this energy off how you're feeling. If you're in your emotions, stuff like that, once you get out of that uh, tower energy, what happened to me energy, and transform it look at the happiness and abundance that's for you that is like self-sabotage that is like keeping yourself in an energy where you sabotage this beautiful outcome single abundant confident happy happy you'll have a reason to celebrate Spirit's not going to leave you, dump you on your head. Coin, <laughs> that's your energy, male or female. And this is, you're thinking about money. You're thinking you don't have enough or how am I going to get there? Spirit is saying, in time, if you keep fighting, you're going to get it. They know you're down for the count. But this is fear. Fear of getting hurt. Fear of getting wounded. Fear of uh, repeating cycles. We self-sabotage ourselves by our thoughts. Because we don't want to be wounded again. We're afraid to be hurt again. But Spirit is saying it's just time. Time heals all wounds. You're being guided. And know that Spirit never left you for one minute, one second. They've been there the entire time. Hoping, trying to help you out of the situations that you're in. They never abandoned you. That's self-sabotaging energy and um spirit is saying fight <laughs> raise a little hell of your own man you got it capricorn that is your energy to do just that and i know many of you have been spent years doing that spirit saying don't give up do not give up take care of capricorn 